The Navy's newest littoral combat ship, USS Charleston, is an agile giant of the seas that was built to maneuver around shoreline areas. The ship only has a 14-foot draft, which allows the 3,200-ton Charleston to easily navigate around an enemy's shoreline. The 421-foot long combat ship was built by General Dynamics in Austell, USA, in Mobile, Alabama. The ship becomes the sixth to carry the name of Charleston's oldest and largest city. The first namesake ship, a galley, was built in Charleston in 1798 and used to defend the coast during the quasi-war with France. The last ship bearing the city's name was an amphibious cargo ship commissioned in 1968, used during the Vietnam War, and decommissioned in 1992. An SCETV camera crew went aboard USS Charleston for a sneak peek of the warship just days before it was commissioned in early March. The primary mission of the ship, which will be based in San Diego, is minesweeping, though it can easily be reconfigured for other missions. Uh, she can go in very close to shore, so um, a draft of a destroyer, for example, or less than half of their draft, I don't have a draft of 14 feet, so I can get up really close to the shore, I can go faster, I can go faster than a DDG without even trying. Okay, so you know, it's, the ship can go 40 plus knots, which, um, you know, for people that are driving their vehicles at that speed, it probably doesn't feel fast, but trust me, when you're on the water, that's flying through the water. A crowd of 6,000 people gathered for the commissioning ceremony in Charleston in early March, including top Navy brass like Admiral James Fogo, commander of U.S. Naval Forces Europe and Africa. But now LCS-18 represents the sixth vessel to bear the name of this great city. It's the most flexible, modern, and literal ship in the arsenal of the Joint Force. So as we now commission USS Charleston, my charge to her crew is this ship was made to defend America. Take care of her so you in turn can take care of all of us. Since the Revolutionary War Battle of Sullivan's Island, right out in the harbor in June of 1776, Charleston sustained a robust naval legacy as well. In fact, it was that very battle that an unlikely victory in those desperate hours by a ragtag band of patriots against King George's finest naval forces. We believe that victory here in Charleston in June of 1776 helped to inspire the Continental Congress in Philadelphia to declare our nation's independence just a few weeks later. Officers and crew of the USS Ch Charleston, man our ship and bring her to life.